by Robert Southey. No stir in the air, no stir in the sea. The ship was still as she could be. Her sails from heaven received no motion. Her keel was steady in the ocean. Without either sign or sound of their shock, the waves flowed over the Inchcape Rock. So little they rose, so little they fell. They did not move the Inchcape Bell. The abbot of Aberbrothock had placed that bell on the Inchcape Rock. On a buoy in the storm it floated and swung, and over the waves its warning rung. When the rock was hid by the surge's swell, the mariners heard the warning bell, and then they knew the perilous rock, and blessed the abbot of Aberbrothock. The sun in 